Okay, so this video is going to be directed to those of you out there that are either interested in calculus or taking like a first year or first semester calculus course. So when you take calculus, one of the big things you have to learn how to do is take the derivative of all sorts of functions, okay? And when you take the derivative of various functions, you have to learn a ton of rules. And one of the rules that you need to master is the quotient rule. So we're going to go over the quotient rule uh, by doing an example here in just one second. But basically, the quotient rule uh, looks like this. When we're trying to find the derivative, first derivative, where there is a quotient, i.e., think of um, a fraction. There's a function in the numerator, and there is a function in the denominator. Basically, when we want to take the derivative, first derivative, where there is a rational expression, some sort of uh, fractional um, expression going on. Well, how do we do that? Well, we have to apply the quotient rule, and this is the quotient rule right here. So uh, for those of you, again, that are, uh, you know, basically uh, studying calculus, you're already in a calculus course, you can kind of read this and hopefully be able to interpret it. Of course, I'm going to explain this all here in just one second. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. That definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's say I wanted to find the first derivative of this function right here, this expression. Okay, now this is um, finding d of uh, uh, dx, okay, which is basically the first derivative. So this is the notation. There's other notations you can use, the prime notation like y, finding y prime. So that's, you know, other notation that you might be familiar with. But here, what I'm saying is go ahead and find the first derivative with respect to the variable x of this function right here. Now, if you look at this function, you can see we have a numerator and a denominator. Technically, this would be classified as a rational um, function. Um, but, you know, you look at it, it's like, hey, it's a, there's a fraction going on here, right? There's a numerator and denominator. So how can I find the first derivative of a situation like this? Well, this is a quotient. Okay, remember the word quotient has to do with division or fraction. So anytime you see something like this where there's a fraction going on, you want to be thinking quotient. Okay, there's other rules like the product rule, etc. But uh, so anyways, we are going to apply the quotient rule, and here it is. Okay, so let's just kind of look at the quotient rule, and what does it say? Well, here we have a numerator, and here we have a denominator. So the denominator starts off by saying, you're going to take that g of x function, which is the function that represents the, uh, or the function in the denominator. In this case, it's going to be x squared plus 1. So you're just going to write that, and you're going to multiply it by the first derivative of the function in the numerator. In this case, that's 5x minus 2. Okay, so yes, you're going to have to use a lot of algebra to kind of set all this up. But this, again, it's not difficult. Now, hopefully, you already know how to find the first derivative of uh, these little functions right here. If not, I'll show you exactly how to do that. And then you're going to uh, put a subtraction sign. And then we're going to put the uh, f of x function, which is the function in the numerator right here. And we're going to multiply it by the first derivative of the denominator function, which is x squared plus 1. That's what this is. So the, yeah, this is a lot of math. That's our numerator. So we're going to put a nice long fraction bar right here. And then we're going to put that all over the g of x function, which is our denominator function uh, squared. OK, so when you're um, looking at these rules, you know, obviously, you know, before you commit this to your memory, and this is something you probably would not be given on a test or quiz in your calculus course. You probably your teacher is probably going to ask you to just do problems without like a little formula sheet. They might give you a formula sheet for your final exam, but uh, some of the stuff you definitely want to commit to long-term memory. And there's other uh, notation that you can use that's a little bit easier than this. But anyways, I would just want to kind of break this out. This is the quotient rule. And you can see here uh, that the g of x function cannot be equal to zero because we don't want to have zero in the denominator. Okay, so if you are, um, you know, at the pre-calculus level or calculus level or you have some, you know, uh, pretty decent math skills, go ahead and set this up. Okay, follow this rule again right here. This top function, this is the f of x 
function and our um, bottom function down here in denominator, this is our g of x function. And all you got to do is kind of uh, set this up by following the rules and then just working uh, this down. Okay, so let's see how well you uh, have, uh, can do with this. I'm actually going to show you the answer. If you're not ready to see the answer, go ahead and pause the video, but I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. Okay, so here is the quotient rule. Okay, here is our problem. We want to find the first derivative with respect to x, uh, 5x minus 2 over x squared plus 1. So let's go ahead and write this out. Okay, now I'll kind of shift back and forth. Uh, so we're going to say, all right, so here is the quotient rule. So we're going to first start off by writing that g of x function. Okay, this is again, notice the g of x function is the function in the denominator. So we're just going to write that out. And I have that right here, x squared plus 1. And we're going to multiply it by uh, f prime of x. This is the first derivative of the uh, function in the numerator. So this is 5x minus 2. So I'll use this notation right here. Okay, we're going to take the first derivative with respect to x of 5x minus 2. So that's what this is right here. Okay, this is the first derivative of that numerator function, which is, of course, 5x minus 2, okay? Now we're going to put a subtraction sign, so I'll write that there. Then I'm going to put what? I'm going to put f of x, which is the numerator function, which is 5x minus 2. I'll put that there, and then we're going to put um, the first derivative with respect to x of that g of x function. That's our denominator function, x squared plus 1. So we'll write that right here. This means find the first derivative with respect to x of that denominator function, x squared plus 1, all over g of x squared. Okay, so let's put that right here. g of x squared, again, is that denominator function, and then we'll square it, okay? So this is the setup, and anytime you're working with any formulas in calculus or uh, uh, mathematics, before you start doing the work, you want to double check, hey, did I do this right? Okay, yes, here is the g of x function. This is the first derivative of the f function minus the f function times the first derivative of the g function, and here is the g uh, function squared. Okay, so you're going to look at all of that, and you'll be like, okay, that makes sense. So now let's go ahead and actually do the work. Okay, so let's start off here, x uh, squared plus 1. So that's just going to be x plus 1 times the first derivative, I'm focusing on this part right here, of 5x minus 2. Okay, so what's the first derivative of that? Well, let's kind of do this right here, 5x minus 2. If I'm taking the first derivative, all you're going to do is the power rule, right? So there is a 1 right here. So you're going to multiply that 1 times that 5. So that's 5 times, and they're going to drop this down. That's This is going to become x to the 0 power. So it, this is just going to be equal to 5. Now, if you don't know how I got uh, 5 as the first derivative, then you want to look at other videos um, using a power rule, uh, the chain rule, all that kind of good stuff basic uh, calculus, okay, how to find the first derivative. So you do need to know some of that um, basic stuff to, in order to use the quotient rule. But anyways, here is our um, first part of this problem. So now let's go ahead and work on the second part. So here we have 5x minus 2, so we'll just write that there. And then the first derivative of, uh, of x squared plus 1. Again, I'm going to take this x squared plus 1. Take this 2, multiply by the coefficient. That's going to be 2 times x and drop that power down by 1. So that will be 2x. Okay? All right. So that's how you find the first derivative of these nice uh, basic functions like this. And then here, this is going to be x squared plus 1 squared. And we will just um, leave uh, this um, expression in its current form. We won't actually do all this multiplication. It's not necessary. But anyways, now let's go ahead and clean this up. Okay. All right. So here we have 2x times 5x minus 2. So I'll just use the distributive property. Take 2x times 5x. That, that'll give me 10x squared. And then 2x times this negative 2. That'll be minus 4x. So this is all going to be in parentheses because I have a subtraction sign here. You got to be very careful. A lot of people get in trouble um, with the quotient rule because they mess up with their algebra. And then here, I have 5 times this x squared. That gives me 5x squared. 5 times this one is 5. So now, 
uh, we just gotta uh, be very careful with our negative sign. So this is gonna be negative 10x squared. And I have um, two like terms here, 5x squared and negative 5x squared, or sorry, positive 5x squared minus 10x squared. Excuse me, when I distribute this negative, when I combine these like terms, I end up with negative 5x squared. Then this negative, okay, times this negative 4x is gonna be a positive 4x. And then that leaves me with a positive 5 up here in the numerator. Uh, just go ahead and leave my denominator like so, x squared plus 1 squared. And there you go. Okay, here is the first derivative of this rational uh, function, okay? And uh, we use the quotient rule, okay? Again, we're, we're seeing we got division going on here. We have a numerator and denominator, and we just kind of simply follow the rule. But we have to be very careful with the algebra, okay? And, of course, you also need to find or know how to find uh, the first derivative of these nice basic functions here. Again, if you're looking at this video uh, and you're like, oh yeah, the quotient rule, I'm studying it, all this other stuff is should be prerequisites uh, to you. In other words, you should have already uh, covered it and you should already know it. But if you're just watching this again, you're just interested in calculus, well, this is a pretty good um, uh, you know, illustration of the type of things you do in calculus. Calculus, a lot of calculus, not all of it, but a lot of calculus is a ton of rules and applying those rules, okay? But to be successful in calculus, you do have to really, really understand all, everything that you learned previous uh, in mathematics. And of course, that would be summed up in like a pre-calculus course. Pre-calculus is a, actually a quite challenging course. A lot of students um, will actually think back on their pre-calculus experience as being more difficult than it, uh, even learning first-year calculus. Okay, There is a lot to learn in pre-calculus. So if you're struggling, struggling in calculus, you may not have all those skills that you should have from pre-calculus. So again, uh, check out my pre-calculus course. Um, you know, it could uh, be a useful supplement as you study uh, calculus. But uh, anyways, with that being said, I uh, hope this video helped you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.